downtown are not the only place where people are committed to moving forward. Right now, more than 100 Indianapolis businesses, organizations, and government agencies are also committing themselves to making changes in their environments as soon as possible. But they're pausing first to listen. Box 59's Courtney Crown spent time with a local pastor to understand why that is so very important. The absolute worst thing that could happen, the greatest fear among many who continue to protest, the biggest concern of our, our forefathers would be that we have this moment and simply allow it to pass and gain nothing from it. We find ourselves at a crossroads in our city and our country with a choice to remain the same or move forward. No justice, no peace. Let the zenith that rises from the pain be the hope that tomorrow can be better and better always starts with us working together to hear each other. Mary Chandler, chair of the Greater Indianapolis Progress Committee, commits this organization to harnessing this momentum. Gypsy is made up of over 100 members from every major business, government and nonprofit sector in Indianapolis. I feel like um, the community is mobilizing in ways that I've never seen it mobilized before and I've been living here my entire life. Gypsy is hosting several listening sessions over the next several days with their members. They hope to create task forces in several areas like pro bono legal help and nonprofits work with utilities, food and rent assistance. To really think about structural change, uh, including policing and the criminal justice system. So the time to move is now and we are moving. Aside from Gypsy's plan, Pastor Clyde Posley is already helping some corporate businesses approach sensitive conversations like historic institutional racism. He is helping business leaders understand the importance of supporting their African American employees in peaceful protest. Some of these companies were doing this before, but they have increased their efforts to hear what they think they had not heard before. That alone makes this a great season to ride the wave of momentum. Justice for all takes empathy and respect between neighbors. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. That's how we ought to move forward. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. So many encouraging moments to report tonight. Pastor Posley ended that interview by insisting that every person protesting is also voting. He underscores how important it is to take your demands to the polls.